types of collar here. We've got both are buckle clips. This one's a plastic version, of course a light, small collar for our puppy with his tag on, that's good. This is the one we'll move to. You can see that the actual, like a belt buckle, that's a much safer design for me. Um, and this collar's more substantial, you can see stronger. That's gonna be important if our dog ever gets loose as well as our tag, which remember is a legal requirement, guys. So make sure we have the right tools. And over Herbie's development and our filming, we're gonna check, we're gonna check these tools that we use are correct whether it be a collar, to a crate, to a lead, etc. Right. This type of lead is nice because it's lightweight, although I'm not too heavy on these type of clips, they're quite fiddly, and for a puppy that might be mouthing, um, or not used to us going into its space, these are nicer and easier to use. So but the problem with this lead is a little bit heavy for a puppy, so you've got to carry the weight of this. So what we're gonna do is put this clip, uh, clip on the collar before we go. We want to get the puppy, to be used to, getting used to wearing a collar. Obviously it's very unnatural for a puppy. It's like sort of the initial putting this on, if we don't introduce it properly, it could be like putting on the jumper for someone in the Amazon that's never worn one. So we've got to make sure we give it a slow introduction, get the dog used to it in the house, and then we can start to take it out on the walk. Of course we need our leads for safety out and about, by roads, etc. I've just made a little loop with my lead, so I've, I've made a makeshift lead, which can be very important later on if we find the dog in the park. Um, we can put the clip through the handle. We call it a makeshift lead, okay? We're gonna just get Herbie to put his nose through and just get him used to the weight of the rope here. I'm gonna give him a little tasty morsel there, lovely jubbly, and we're gonna take that off again. You can see I let him do all the work. I don't force it on him. I let him put his head through, okay? So we've got ourselves a Sit, good. And then I'm gonna put the treat on the other side, let him come through, and just let him carry the weight of the lead. Check that he's fine with that, okay? That's a nice little We're just intro. getting Herbie used to the weight of the lead now, and something around his neck and me being attached to the end. So just fade the treat away a little bit, keeping it off his nose. He's comfortable with that, which is good. At any point, if he's not comfortable, we stop, go back a step, okay? So I'm just seeing that he can cope with a little bit of pressure on the neck area and that he can, he's happy with that, that's good, because it might happen out on our walk, and he's nice and relaxed, I give him his treat. Well done. And we want to get him used to this area before we put the collar on, we take our lead off, that's a good little session. Okay, we introduce the collar, we've got the tag on here, which is quite noisy, so we might choose initially in the house to take the tag off. Herbie has had a collar on when he was at the breeders. The breeder used a little brown collar to be able to identify him amongst the other 11 puppies, which is a very big litter. So some breeders will introduce a little collar, um, others won't. We've got to introduce this now because he hasn't had one on for a few weeks, okay? So I'm gonna just do the same again. I'm just gonna rest that on his neck. You can see, check that he can cope with the dangling. This is what we're always wanting to do, make things easy for your puppy. Remember, the puppy's not born knowing what collar is or understanding what we're doing here. So you can see I've got him here, give him his little treat, and I'm just gonna, he just backed away, that's fine. So what I might do this time, put a couple of treats on the floor. Get my collar there, clip it in, just check he's happy with that. His nose is engaged, which is important. So we now got the collar on, that's great. And we're just gonna see if he can cope with that, that's good. Might do a little bit of training, sit, well done. Good boy. Get a little stand in here. Stand, good, well done. And he's quite comfortable with me touching this area because remember in the park later on, I want this, ex this exercise, me getting his collar. The next stage now, guys, is to connect the lead to the collar. So we're gonna, again, Use our treats to diffuse this. Obviously we fade the treats away later on. We're not gonna be going with a seven year old dog and giving it lots of treats to get a lead on. But we want to help that dog understand what we want. So we're gonna just get his nose engaged. I've got my clip here. Just find where my little connection is. I'm gonna put a couple of treats on the floor and then get my clip on. That was nice and easy, that's good. Without the treats we might find that the dog may mouth your hands. Remember, it's not natural for dogs to do this sort of thing with each other. We want our puppy to be comfortable with this. And this is all before we go on a walk, guys, okay? We want this, our dog really, really um, calm, cool, collected with the lead. So this is the work we can be doing whilst we're waiting for our second jab, 
um, we can get our dog used to being on the lead in the kitchen or around the house. Look at this, this is nice, good boy. We're doing something a little bit hill work here, a bit early Herbie, but we'll, we'll go with it. Okay, so you can see he's quite happy with me, with the lead, the lead being around him. That's quite good, nice, well done mister. Give a reward. And we can start working just with a little bit of training. Heel, good. Surly, but he's happy with the lead and we're comfortable there. That's really, really nice. Good little session. Well done, Herbs. Mm.